Hi, Stephen here from Inexterious Painters and Decorators and you're watching Inexterious TV. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint a radiator. Let's do this. The materials we're going to use for this project is some oil-based eggshell made by the Little Green Paint Company, a paint kettle, an inch and a half brush, an inch brush, a little fitch, a dust brush and some 80 grit sandpaper and a dust sheet. We're going to use oil based eggshell to paint this radiator. What we're actually doing is blending it into the wall. But I'm choosing to use this oil based eggshell rather than the wall paint because it's more durable. What we do next is give this radiator a sand down with the 80 grit sandpaper just to let you know that this is worn down 80 grit sandpaper and not neat and that way I'm not cutting all the way through the the coating that's on the radiator I'm just giving it a good key up ready for its first coat of eggshell fortunately this radiator is in good condition but you do come across them where there's a bits of rust on them or a lot of rust but that's not the case with this radiator When you finish sanding, give it a good old dust down with a dust brush. What I do now is get my little Fitch brush and paint the back lip of the back grill of the radiator. Then I'll get my inch brush and just paint the face bit of the back grille. These are all bits that are on view so they need to be painted. I then get my fitch and paint the back of the front grille. Then I'll repeat this process on the other half of the radiator. See, what we're doing now is painting this side bit of the radiator because that bit's on view as well. And I'm using the inch brush and the fitch to do this with. And just to let you know, I have painted the other side, but I didn't film it. I just thought I'd film this side because I could get a close-up of this bit. See now we've painted all the backs and sides, it's time to paint the front. What I do is use my inch and a half brush and paint all the top bits in, then all the bottom bits in. Then I fill in the middles and I do this a section at a time, making sure I work out the paint really well and I lay it off up and down. What I then do is repeat the process to about the middle of the radiator. Just doing exactly what we did with the first section. I do this radiator in three sections because with the last section I'll get a bit braver and do a, a lot bigger section. What I'm doing now is painting the top cross section and then I'll paint the bottom cross section 
then I'll make sure it's all nicely laid off so we don't get any runs dripping down onto the front drill bit. And then we just repeat the process on the second half of the radiator. I'd never used this um, little green oil based eggshell before and I noticed it was a little bit runny in the tin. So I just started off by doing two small sections first. But now my confidence has grown, I can do a bigger section. Now it's been dry 24 hours, I just give it a light sand down with some worn down 80 grit sandpaper. I'm using worn down 80 grit because I couldn't find the 120. And now we've sanded it, what we're going to do is give it its second coat. And then pretty much just repeat the same process of what we did when we put the first coat on it. Just to let you know that when I sanded this, it had been dry for 24 hours, but that this time of year is really, really warm. So if it was winter, it may take 48 hours before you could um, lightly sand it down. So just bear that in mind. If you start to sand it and it's still a bit tacky after 24 hours, just leave it a bit longer. And that's the radiator finished in two coats of eggshell. And that is how you paint a radiator. If you've got anything from this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and please leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.